Scott McGregor here with Rapid Media TV, and I'm in the H2O Canoes booth with Jeff Hill. Jeff, this is very exciting. Yeah. It seems like every time I talk to you, there's something new to talk about. Yep, that's right. We got a brand new boat here, the Voyager 17. It's a big boat. This is fantastic. Yep. Tell me a little bit about where this came from. Yeah, it's a uh, it's purpose-specific boat. It's uh, Skip Eisen's design from Grand Bend, Ontario. And white water tripper for two tandem. It's almost 17 feet long, uh, 1611, 38 inches wide. As you can see, the way we've outfitted this one, it's uh, room for four barrels, two large airbags. You can have a third airbag in the center if you needed it. Outfitted, um, you know, it's appropriate, is what it is. It's got all the features necessary for real white water. This is why we call it the Voyager. The Voyager, yep. Um, some of its key characteristics, which are skip characteristics and really attractive, good features of the boat. Um, the plunge resistant overhangs, bow and stern. They uh, also shed a lot of water. We've got some tumble home at the paddling positions. Okay, so it narrows it up, get your hands over it nicer. Um, the broad beam of the center and the width is great for storage and just security. It's nice then, to be able to get barrels in and out easily and, and the not barrels trying to are shoehorn them in there. Yeah. Yep, no problem there. And it's rockered properly for turning. You've got four inches of rocker on the bow, two and a half inches of rocker on the stern, so it's going to turn. Great. And by Skip's own desire, his consideration when he built it is he wants this boat to be paddleable on flat water too. So right. although it can be made to be a spinning top on the white water, this boat will go straight enough with, by a skilled paddler on the flat water too. Right. I've seen different versions of this over the years and we've tested one a bunch of years ago in Rapid or Canoe Roots, I can't remember which. You've made it way deeper and you've added, are now building it in a way, in my mind, superior um, fabric or a layout. Yep. And something I see the sticker there. You call it brute force. Tell yep. me a bit about brute force. Yeah, well, brute force is our uh, our branding of our lamination. That you know, when a lot of our requirements, people want to last and they want to run into things, and they'll even use those words, run into things. And I think that's a paddling style. I like maybe you could call it that has been developed or over the years. Or of a deficiency of it's skill, of one or the other. I'm not sure. But we don't have a so-called run-into-things lamination anymore in plastic and Royal X. So our brute force lamination is characteristic of everything we can do with composites and resin to run into things and still expect standard durability. So Enegra is a key component of that. Um, Enegra fabric with basalt mineral fabric is our outer and inner skin. We've got a really thick uh, center layer in there. We've got Kevlar reinforcing. The resin system is an advanced resin system called Core Shell Resin, which is an impact flexible resin. So our feeling is this is the toughest composite lamination available right now. Um, and, and it's also reduced some of the features that would be, you know, like there's no gel coat on it. So there's no gel coat to crack, there's no gel coat to fix. What weight is not here in gel coat can be put back into the boat in structure. Right. So yeah, we're real happy with this So one. I know that this one's fully outfitted with bags and straps and knee pads and the whole deal, but when you buy this from you directly, what would a boat like, what's your Voyager 17 weigh? Everybody yeah, asks yeah, the question, how built, much does it weigh? Built in brute force, the, way, the weight is exactly 60 pounds. Okay, and, and that is fully complete tripping canoe and very minimal additional weight for the outfitting. Right. Like probably two, three pounds is all you're adding to it. Right. Yep. Okay. Well, Jeff, this is pretty great. Can't yeah. wait till next year and find out what's cooking. Well, you never know. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks, Scott. Scott yeah. McGregor here in the H2O booth for Rapid Media, hoping you paddle forever.